New details on a double shooting at a Chesterfield housing complex that left one person dead and another in the hospital tonight. This right here is a look at the scene last night on Tim's very circle. You can see a lot of police cars, tape, flashing lights. Eight News reporter Olivia Jacob joins us live tonight with the latest on this tragic story. Olivia. Yeah, well, Eric, Deanna, just this afternoon, police confirmed that it was 20 year old Taiwan Coleman who lost his life again, just 20 years old. They tell me he was a resident of the complex where this happened, but they're still working to figure out why this happened and who else was involved. A massive scene in Chesterfield County. Assault with deadly weapon, 15,096. Broadwater way. After a deadly double shooting at the Broadwater townhomes. When they approached the vehicle, they located a, a male that was slumped over in the um, uh, rear rear seat of the vehicle. Captain Mike Breeden was on scene last night after the first calls for shots fired came in just before 930. He says authorities found one man dead after being shot several times. We're going to update the address 15127. Tim is very circle. Scanner audio from last night reveals first responders talking about the different places within the complex where help was needed. In addition to one man being killed, Breeden says a minor was also shot in the leg and another house hit with at least one bullet. We had like two different small scenes going on at the same time and we were just that's why with so many people officers out there was just to be able to secure both scenes. This marks Chesterfield County's sixth fatal shooting in 2022. At this time last year, there were five, the locality ending 2021 with 11 shooting deaths. We feel bad for uh, the uh, the victim and of course the uh, the uh, victim's family because uh, at, at some point, you know, they become an extended part of our family. Now, authorities say the minor who was shot in the leg is expected to survive, although he is still in the hospital. And again, this investigation is ongoing. So if you know anything about what happened, you're urged to contact Chesterfield Police. For now, live in Chesterfield County, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.